Hi everyone, let's look at this problem with capacitors. Example number 16. The electric field between the plates of a parallel capacitor, so that's the capacitor here, is horizontal and it has a magnitude of E. So then it has electric field E. And good thing to know about capacitors is the electric field within it, no matter where it is, is the same throughout the whole capacitor here. A small object of mass, uh, 0.025 kilograms, and a charge of negative 3.1 microcoulombs is suspended by a thread between the plates, as shown in the sketch. The thread makes an angle of 10.5 degrees with the vertical. Find the tension in the thread, the magnetic, the magnitude of the electric field. So we can see that this is negative because the electric field is going to the right and the charge is going to the left. So that if the charge is going the opposite direction, that means it's going to be a negative. So let's find out what this electric field, or what the tension is going to be. Let's kind of just draw this first out over here. And then we're going to think about what all the forces we're going to have. So we have this mass here. This is going to have a mass of 0.025 kilograms. It has a charge of negative 3.1 microcoulombs. And now let's draw a free body diagram for this. What we know is we're going to have a force of gravity that's going to be going straight down. And then we're going to have a force of tension going along the string. And then what we, what we have over here is we're going to have a force of electricity. So it's going to be attracted going towards the left. So it's going to be going a force of electricity to the left. And then for the components, uh, maybe I'll do this in a different color. For the components, we have force of tension in the x direction and the force of tension in the y direction. Also, we should know that this is 10.5 degrees, which is the same as over here, which is 10.5 degrees. Okay? A few things to note. What we should know is the force of gravity and the force of tension, the y, are exactly the same because again, it's an equilibrium. It's not moving up and down or left or right. So that means everything in the y has to cancel. So we should know the force of tension, the y, is equal to the force of gravity, which is just going to be equal to that times 10. So 0 0.25 newtons. And this will be 0 0.25 newtons. With that piece of information, we can find out what this force of tension is. We can say that cosine of 10.5 is equal to adjacent, which is 0 0.25, divided by the force of tension. And now we can say force of tension is equal to, we got my calculator real quick. For, so let me just do this. Force of tension equals 0 0.25 divided by cosine 10.5 and we get 0 0.254. So we get 0 0.254 newtons. So that's what the force of tension is on the string. Now it's asking for what is the magnitude of the electric field. What we should also know, so we're looking for what the electric field is right here. However, in order to find that, we should first try to find what the force of electricity is. So what is the force of electricity? And to know this force of electricity, well, we should know is that since this is an equilibrium, that means this force of electricity is the same as this force of tension in the x direction. So I'm just going to use this to find what, what force of tension in the x direction is. I'm going to say uh, force of tension in the x is equal to 0 0.254 times sine of 10.5. And if I put that into my calculator, I get 0 0.046 okay. and what's important to know is this is also this force of tension x is also the same as the force of electricity so this is the force of electricity and now once I have that I should know that the electric field I'm gonna maybe do this in green electric field is equal to the force of electricity divided by the test charge so electric field is equal to the force of electricity, which is 0 0.046 divided by this charge, which is going to be 3.1 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And if I put that into my calculator, I get 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative 6. I get 14,946. 
14,946.7 Newton per Coulomb. Okay. That's how we do our first challenge problem. Now let's look at the next problem. All right, so two small plastic balls hang from threads of a negligible mass. Each ball has a mass of 0.14 grams and charge of magnitude Q. So they both have the same charge. The balls are attracted to each other, so they, that means that one is positive, one is negative. And the threads attached to the balls make an angle of 20 degrees with the vertical, as shown in the figure. Find the magnitude of the electric force acting on the ball. Okay. So important thing to know here, let's start out with a free body diagram. So we have force of gravity. Okay, this isn't proportional, but it'll do for now. We have force of gravity, force of tension going along the string, and then force of electricity. Okay, I'm gonna just do this one. Force of electricity, force of tension, force of gravity. Okay. So, in order to find what this force of electricity is, what we're going to do first is let's try to find the components of this to help us. And remember, if we find what the force of tension is in the x direction, that will be the same as the force of electricity. Um, mm -mm. So if this is, oop, maybe I should have drawn this on the other side. Okay, so this is a little bit confusing. This angle here is 70 degrees, so that's a little confusing. So I'm just going to draw it over here because I know that this angle, which is 20 degrees, is the same as this angle, which is 20 degrees, okay? Uh, and that makes that 170 uh, 70 degrees, but I don't wanna confuse, I don't wanna do it in different ways. Okay, so let's figure this out. We know force of gravity is gonna be 0 0.14, which is in grams, so I'm gonna change that into kilograms. 0.14 divided by 1,000 uh, times 10, and that'll give us the Newton. So this one's gonna be point zero zero one four newtons and now i know the force of tension the y is the same thing zero point zero zero one four newtons knowing that let's find what the force of tension is in the x direction so i should know that okay, a tan of 20 equals opposite force of tension in the x over adjacent which is point zero zero one four so now I can have force of tension the x is equal to times tan of 20, uh, 0.00051. A lot of zeros for this problem, 0.00051 newtons. And remember, this is the same for the force of electricity. So this force of tension the x is the same as the force of electricity. Let's find the magnitude. Okay, so I know that the force of electricity is equal to 0.00051 newtons. All right, let's look at part B. Part B says find the tension in each of the threads. So this is pretty much the same thing. They have the same charge, they have the same mass. So now that I found what the force of tension is in the x direction and the force of tension in the y, I could just do Pythagorean theorem to figure out what the force of tension is. So this one's gonna be equal to 0 0.0051 squared plus 0 0.0014 squared and the square root of that which will give me 0 0.00149 newtons okay and then where we go from there find the magnitude of the charge on each ball so we don't know what the q is of this and the q for this this one's gonna be a little confusing what we should know though is we do know the force of electricity of both of these. Force of electricity, and we know that is going to be equal to KQ1, Q2, R squared. So let's see if we can simplify this a little bit. So force of electricity, we know that's going to be 0 0.00051. K, we know that's going to be 9 times 10 to the 9th. We don't know what Q1 is. We don't know what Q2 is. However, we do know what R is, that's uh, 2.05 centimeters. So for meters, that's gonna be 0 0.0205, and that's squared. Even though we don't know what Q1 and Q2 are, we do know that they have the same amount of charge as it says over here, they're the same charge. So we can say Q times Q 
is the same as q squared. So we're only missing this one variable. If we're only doing, missing that one variable, let's do some algebra and we should be able to figure this out. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00051 divided by nine times 10 to the power of nine. Square root, we should get ooh, five times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs. Okay, so let's uh, find the magnitude of the charge on the ball. So yeah, one's gonna be positive, one's gonna be negative, but the magnitude for both of them is gonna be five times negative nine coulombs. Okay, we're gonna go to the last one for this problem. It says a small object of mass 0.025 kilograms and a charge of 3.1 microcoulombs from the ceiling, uh, hangs from the ceiling by a thread. A second, a small object with a charge of 4.2 microcoulombs is placed 1.5 meters vertically below the first charge. Find the force of electricity between the two charges. Okay, so let's just draw this out first. So we have a ceiling, we have a thread, and we have a charge. So we know that this one is going to have a mass of 0.025 kilograms. It's going to have a charge of 3.1 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. What we should also know is this is another charge. So there's going to be a charge below it. Maybe I'll do this one in red. Charge below it. And we know this is one that's going to have a charge, which is equal to, I'm going to call it Q2, 4.2 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And this charge is 1.5 meters below the first charge. Okay. So they're both positive. Now we want to find what is the force of electricity between these charges. What we should know is since they're both positive, there's going to be a force of electricity going down this way. And then there's going to be a force of electricity uh, going up this way. Okay. So I'm just going to find what this force of electricity is. So A force of electricity is equal to k q1 q2 r squared so that's going to be 9 times 10 to the 9th q1 which is 3.1 times 10 to the negative 6 times 4.2 times 10 to the negative 6 over 1.5 squared let me put that in my calculator 9 times 10 to the power of 9 times 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative 6 times 4.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6 divided by 1.5 squared and we get it's equal to 0 0.052 newtons okay so we know this is equal to 0 0.052 newtons Next one is to find the tension in the thread. So we want to draw a free body diagram at this point. So there's a force of electricity going up on this thread here, but there's also going to be a force of gravity and there's going to be a force of tension. We want to find out what this force of tension is. However, before we know what this force of tension is, we have to find what this force of gravity is. So it's going to be this mass times 10. So this is going to be equal to 0.25 newtons. Now for part B, we should know sum of all forces in the Y is equal to mass times acceleration. We have force of electricity that's going up, force of tension which is going up, force of gravity which is going down, times mass times acceleration. Force of electricity is 0 0.052. Force of tension is what we're looking for. Force of gravity is 0 0.25, negative 0 0.25. And it's not moving or accelerating at all, so this is just gonna be zero. Now we do a little bit of algebra and we can find that this is going to be equal to 0.198. Okay. 0.198 newtons. And that. All right, so this is the last one we're doing. We have an object of mass 3.7 grams and a charge, it has a charge of positive 44 microcoulombs. It's attached to the string and we can see it's positive because we can see the force of electricity is gonna be going this way. If it was going down this way, it would just kind of fall down. Um, that is at a, uh, and placed in a uniform electric field that is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. So that's very strange. We have a electric field that's angled this time, which makes it a little tricky. The object is in static equilibrium when the string is horizontal. Find the magnitude of the electric field, the tension in the string. 
So let's first start out with drawing the free body diagram for this. Um, so what we're gonna have is we're gonna have a force of gravity, which is equal to mg. We're gonna have the force of tension here. And we have a force of electricity that's gonna be going in the same direction as the electric field. All right, so how are we going to do this? What we should first know is this force of gravity, which is 3.7 grams. So we're going to divide that by 1,000 to get kilograms uh, times 10. And then this is going to give us 0 0.037 newtons. So this is going to be equal to 0 0.37, uh, 0.037 newtons. 0 0.037 newtons. And what we should know about that is this is going to be the same as the force of electricity in the y direction, 0 0.037 newtons. Okay? And once we have that, dun, 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 what we should know is since this force of electricity is going in the same direction, that this is 30 degrees, uh, oh, so maybe I should have drawn it like this. So I could say that this is 30. Well, if I know that this is 30 degrees, then I know that this over here is 60 degrees. I hope everyone's okay with that. Okay, and once I know that this is a 60 degrees, maybe I'll do this in green, 60 degrees. Dun, 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 dun. Then I can find what this force of electricity is. So for force of electricity, I can do the adjacent, so cosine of 60 which is going to be adjacent force of electricity in the y direction over force of electricity. So I could just say cos of 60 is equal to 0 0.037 divided by f of e. And now I can find what f of e is equal to. 0.037 divided by cos of 60. And I get 0.074. So this is 0 0.074 newtons. However, that's the force of electricity. That's not the magnitude of the electric field. What we should do now is we should know the electric field is equal to the force of electricity divided by Q of the test charge. So electric field is equal to the force of electricity, which is 0 0.074 divided by the charge, which is 44 times 10 to the negative six. And then this is gonna give us an answer of divided by 44 times 10 to the power of negative 6. 1,681. 1,681.8 Newton per Coulomb. Okay. So we found the first answer, but now we want to find what the tension of the string is. So I want you to think about, so if this is an equilibrium, what is this force of tension? We should know that this force of tension is going to be the same as the force of electricity in the x direction. If it's not moving, everything in the x has to cancel out. So let's just, uh, knowing that what the force of electricity is total, let's just find out what this force of electricity is in the x direction. We could say sine of 30 is equal to opposite, which is force of electricity in the x direction, divided by the force of electricity, which is 0.074. And now we can say that the force of electricity in the x, let's put that into our calculators, 0 0.074 times sine of 30. 0 0.037 is newtons, and this is the same for the force of tension, 0 0.037 newtons. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.